Hey guys, sorry, so I am adding a new um, template in the vault and it's a Pomodoro timer and it's really cool and there's a script that will actually run this timer right over here. Now, um, I, the way I'm going to add the images in here, I'm going to show you how you can change uh, the image to make your own template uh, aside from changing the colors and changing the instructions over here. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to insert, drawing, and I'm going to select an image right here. So instead of going to the normal insert image, insert image over cells, or insert image in cells, we're going to go to drawing, and we're going to insert image over there. So I have the download over here, and this is like little icons for the clock. So I'm going to insert this one, uh, actually I'm going to insert this one first. This will be the working, uh, they start the timer to work on the task. And you can make this smaller over here. Um, mm, the way I made this image, there's like this white stuff in here, but let's see how it, how it looks. So just adjust the size that you want, and then you click save and close. So and then it gave me the image in here. I'm gonna I want to make it smaller. So I'm gonna double click this, and I'm gonna make this smaller over here, and save and close. And it's still a bit big. And I want to make sure I'm doing the the size for this square right here. So let's see. I want a little bit bigger. Yeah. I might just do it. Okay, I want to make sure I'll align this white part. Beautiful. Okay, so this is the first image. Uh, and now to uh, to copy and paste, you gotta copy the image from here. Uh, if you just click Control C, Control V from here, from here, it's not going to work. And then to copy over, uh, you go to Insert Drawing. And then you can just paste here inside of the drawing, and then you have the image again. So let's go get the, okay, there we go. So I've got this. Um, then I'm going to insert a stop the timer. I'm going to take the cat off. So this is going to be the five minute break, uh, and you can add that wherever you want in here. In my cat uh, design, I have the Pomodoro the little tomatoes in here, like here, for example. So I have uh, work, mini break, work, mini break, work, mini break, work, and then the big break over here. Uh, and then here is just stop the timer. Um, so I don't know. I'm going to leave this one right here. Let me insert the other one first. Insert drawing. Um, this is just stop the clock. Okay, so I changed the instructions in here. I uh, say, when ready to start a task, press the first clock image. The timer will show the countdown right here. When the time is up, check the checkbox complete and press the coffee cup. So instead of this, I'm going to go to Canva and I'm going to do um, here for this one. I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to make this one image separate. So then I'm download this transparent background, click OK and download. Now let's add the image uh, over here. So I'm gonna do the coffee cup in here. So insert drawing. Um, no, where did it go? Here we go. Let's make that smaller and then save. And I'm going to put that right here. And maybe I'll put it like here. Now, I 
don't know. There's no place. Where should I place it? There. And then this is going to be... Mm -mm -mm. Um, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go to insert drawing. I'm going to paste it here. So this is now an image that I can move around instead of having to... So now instead of... Um, having to find the right cell to place it i can just move that so i can delete this and i can put this here actually let me go like this there we go put that here and then i'm going to copy this and I'm going to insert one over here. So insert. So let's go ahead and insert another drawing here. And then for the five minute break. There. So then, again, you can move this around. Um, and this one's also, you can make it bigger if you want. Okay. Beautiful. So now, I might even need to make these a bit smaller. And you don't have to like double click and go into the drawing to uh, resize it. You could do it from here also. Uh, every time you click here, the clock changes colors. And you want to do the in Canva, you want to do the back, the clear background, so it can do. Uh, oops, so it can do the color change. Okay. Um, if you do white, for example, this part over here is not changing because it's a um it's a shape and it's white that's why it's not changing but that's okay for this template because i want it like that um but for a separate one um, i could do this in illustrator and then just kind of like cut this but like in canva uh, i guess you could like erase it canva has this new functionalities now you could you could probably like erase this part of the um, the drawing and just leave the cup so Anyways, um, this is easier for now. And it doesn't look too bad. So, uh, yeah. So, that's how you change it. Now, let's say... Oh, and then you got to assign the script over here. So, um, you click over here. This Go to Extensions, App Script. And then you will see that we have different uh, scripts in here. So, for the start, the Pomodoro, you're going to copy this part. Then you're going to go here and you're going to assign script for this. Now, the start Pomodoro will um, start the 25 minute timer. Okay, so you want to add every time that you want to start the 25 minutes, you add over here. Now, let's go ahead and get the big break. The big break is for uh, the actually, it's 20 minutes. 20 minutes break and you can see here oh this is almost 30 so we'll do 20. if you want uh a separate if you want a more time you can change over here so just change the number for whatever amount of minutes you want and then you change over here so let's save this and then copy this go to the template and insert over here just don't forget to change the instructions if you change the time for the longer break uh, and then for this one is, where's the script? It is the five minute break. So just copy that here and add over here. And for the um, stop the timer, should say timer, stop timer. 
So you're going to copy this and you're going to assign to this image right here. Now let's run this script. Make sure that it is working. Go ahead and give permission to run. And allow. Once it's running, you're going to have to do this again. This timer should show now 24. Yep. So now it is counting down. Uh, if you want to take the break, just click over here. This should change to five minutes. Yep, there we go. And here it should always shows the end time. And if you want to stop the timer, just click over here. And then this will show timer stopped. If you want to resume out, let's see if the big break is working. This should show 20 minutes over here. Beautiful. So it is working now. Um, and then let's say you want to change the image. Let's stop the timer. Okay, timer stopped. Now let's change. You say you don't want this. You want a different image. Um, let me just add something else over here. Let's get this one. Just um, let me make sure. And this, you can use anything that you want. Yeah, transparent background. Done. Download current page. Now let's change this one. So now if you click in here, it will stop the timer. So what you're going to do, you're going to, uh, I'm on Mac, so minus command and then click. That way you can access this. If you are on Windows, I believe it's control uh, and then you click. Okay, so you want to make sure you have this blue thing around over here. Yeah. And then you can double click on the image. Uh, you can delete this one. And... Put your new one here it's gonna be bigger you just adjust the size again and save and close now this should um, it should still have this script if you click normal and timer is top so let's run the five minutes timer great now we can stop over here and the timer stopped. So yeah, so you wanna, this is, and this is the reason why you want to insert the drawing instead of the image in uh, over cell. Because you can double click and change it and you don't have to reassign the script. If this was an image, you can't replace the image. Um, so you would have to reassign the script, you know, go back to your uh, script area, get the number, the names again for each script and then uh, reassign everything. So this just saved you a little bit of work. Um, hope that helps and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.